Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna learn the basics of setting. Now, you might know it as setting, some people call it volleying, but whatever you call it, this is the skill we're working on today. When we're setting, hand positioning is super important. So the way that I like to think about it is that I'm holding on to a big jug and I'm pouring it onto my head. That is how you want your hands to be, nice and close to your forehead with your hands big and your fingers spread apart. Okay, notice that my elbows are bent. Okay, this is what's gonna help me extend through the ball and get power to push my set outside. To get the feel of our hands on the ball during a set, we're gonna start on our knees and a person is gonna toss to us, we're just gonna catch it in the setting position and push it back. Notice that my hands are pushing together at the same time and I'm catching it with a nice bent elbow. Once you've gotten that feeling down and catching it on your fingertips, same position, but then you can start to push it with a quicker release. want there to be no spin on the ball. A little bit of spin is allowed indoor, but a nice smooth set comes out of your hands without any movement. I mentioned that when we set that we want the ball to come up without any spin. The way to do that is to make sure that we're following through with our hands going in the same direction. A lot of beginners really like to flip their wrists when they're setting to finish, but we want to make sure our hands are strong and finishing together in the setting position. Once you feel good with your hand contact on the ball, then we can get to our feet. Now, similar to what we discussed with passing, it's so important to move with your hands down and move naturally and put our hands up once we get to the ball. When we're setting, it's so important to make sure that our feet are directly under the ball because we're contacting it right above our head. When we get to the ball, we want to approach with our legs slightly bent and one foot a little bit in front of the other. We want to make sure our legs are bent because our legs, just like with passing, are so important in generating the power of our set so that we can extend with our arms and our legs at the same time. Okay, you guys, that is the basics of setting. I really hope you found that helpful. Once you get comfortable with these basics, then you can start trying some of the wall drills and partner drills that I posted in some earlier videos. But if you enjoyed this, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and make sure to let me know if you have any questions because I'd love to help. I'll see you later.